Okay. But you're on board 1A. Yes. Yes. Appreciate all of you tuning in. My buddy Jordan working on some audio problems. I cannot, wait, maybe it is picking this up. I think it is picking this up. Because I was about to say, I think it's picking up the, um. Hey, remember, we can always do it. Yep, okay. I think it's, that's our, that's our number here. I think we should be on now. I'll see, when we, when we mute, it shouldn't be picking up now.
account for ATM. I just downloaded that app. Yeah. Once again, guys, experiencing a little bit of trouble here audio-wise. Um, so I'm going to see if I can't get my big loud mouth to pick this up on the laptop here while the guys work on that. Big, big thank you to Jordan Burton and Mr. Johnny behind the camera and everybody back at the media center here at Alice Ford College. We are working diligently to make this better for us. Boy, another big bucket there for Alice Lloyd. The Lady Eagles lead it 16 to 11. Quick pace basketball game. We're down to the final minute and 40 seconds of the first quarter. Welch has it. Across the timeline, looking over on that left side. Nothing there yet. Through the lane, put it up. Won't go, but she's fouled. And that'll send Welch College to the free throw line. Thanks again to all of our great sponsors. Thanks to, of course, Alice Lloyd College for providing this for you. Minute 36 to play here in the contest. You guys hit that like and share button. Let us know where you're watching from, who you're cheering on here. Welch with a basketball, minute 20 to go. Five seconds on the shot clock. Crowd getting into this one. One second, they didn't get the shot off in time. Alice Lloyd gets the steal on top of it. Katie Joe will lead the break. Swings it over, wide open three from the right corner, and it's good. Wow, you got to like that one as Alice Lloyd hits that one by nothing but the bottom. Miss Stewart puts her team up by eight, 19 to 11. One minute to play. Welch on the ropes here. Early and loose ball, last touched Alice Lord, they say. Thanks again to everybody making this possible. You guys bear with us. We are working behind the scenes to get the audio fixed for our second half, maybe even of this one will be a good goal for us. Jordan, one of the best tech guys in the world. If he can't figure it out, then we got to back up and pump on how to do this game. But we will do it this way for you for the time being. Step back three for Welch. Off the mark. Trying to beat that shot clock. Rebound out on Sloyd. Lady Eagles going the other way. Moore has it over on the right side. She's calling for help. We're looking over there. And the basket is good by Kenzie Maynard, number 15, with that one. Welch has it going the other way. Johnston's shot is blocked. 15 seconds to play. Alice Wood leading it 21 to 11. Coach John Mills shouting out some instructions. Uh, Caroline Watts coming back into the game for Welch along with Serenity Smith. Gracie Hoglin out there, number 10, Faith Johnston. And I'll get you that fifth player just in a moment as she's 
Number 12 jumps out of there. That's Macy Bowman. 14.3 seconds to play in the first quarter. Alice Lord leads it 21 to 11. Got to plug my mic up, James Salmon says. We're trying hard, brother. You guys keep watching. Hit that like and share button. But for the time being, let me know if you can hear me over this loud speaker here as Katie Jo Moore gets to. And at the buzzer, Welch throws up a prayer. It won't go. Welch College right now leading it 20. Thank you for an house Lord leading it 23 to 11. We'll be back after this. For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. Dr. Fran Hughes is a graduate of Alice Lloyd College and Pipeville's Osteopathic Medicine. Dr. Hughes has spent the last 12 years serving the people of Eastern Kentucky and was most recently promoted to an associate professor in her department with the University of Kentucky. She's now seeing patients at Quantum Healthcare in Hazard, Kentucky, the clinic where she began her profession. While walking or welcome, you can also call the clinic to schedule an appointment with Dr. Fran Welcome back. If we pick this one back up underway, we do thank you. Tuning in via Facebook and YouTube. Be sure to hit that like and share button, and we'll keep bringing you this one here. Jordan Burton working hard behind the studios here. I don't know what we're going to do to uh, make this thing work, but we will find some way. Katie Jo Moore with another big bucket there for Alice Lloyd College. Eagles have it going the other way. Well, it's over on the right side. This is a first for me. I'll be honest with you. Using these Bluetooth headsets, I kind of like them, Jordan Burton. I might get me a pair of them. I'm still old school. Well, it's with it over on the right side. Going down the lane. Puts it up and nothing there just yet. Cash has it on a run. Brings it down the right corner. She goes to Thompson. Maddie goes down the lane. Her shot partially blocked. 9.05 to play. Alice Lord leading it 25 to 11. Hello to all of her friends tuning in down in the great state of Tennessee. Sending me some messages. Say they can see us. You guys let me know how it is. Is it loud and clear out there for you? We hope it's much better. We, we continue to try to bring you this big three for Hannah Cash. That's Hannah's second one of the day. Her team leading now big, 28 to 11. Cash takes it right side to Moore. Moore will set up the offense. Welch in that 2-3 zone. Alice Lloyd trying to shoot them out of it. Drops left, Cash goes baseline, a little up and under. That one won't go. Thompson pulls the rebound down, touched then by Welch. Alice Lloyd comes up with a loose ball. Moore off the skip, pass to Cash. Great job for Ward, goes through, but unable to make the shot and commits the foul afterwards. That went from bad to worse for Alice Lloyd. Thanks again to everybody tuning in. Like I said, we're working hard to get the audio problems fixed. We're aware of them. Uh, but for now, we have to kind of work with what we got because you can't unhook anything to work on it. Does that make sense? 
Oh, we've got a young lady down here, and as she's down, let's take a quick commercial break. We'll be back after these. Tonight's sporting event is sponsored by Tim Short Chevy in Hazard, Kentucky, where they invite you to check out the new 2023 Chevy Equinox. Five buyers can earn up to $1,250 cash back or an interest rate of 2.1%. If you're looking for something other than the Chevy Equinox, don't worry. Tim Short Chevy in Hazard, Kentucky has a wide variety of selections to satisfy you. Trucks, cars, SUVs, you name it, they've got it. Come see them in Hazard, Kentucky at the Tim Short Chevy dealership. Welcome back, and she's being attended to, uh, but again, I don't think it's too bad. The athletic trainer is going to check on her, though. We thank all of you again for tuning in here to Hometown Sports Corner. Coverage of the Alice Lloyd College Lady Eagles. Again, exciting game all across the mountains. Alice Lloyd with the steal. Lady Eagles have it. Whips it down low to Cass. Cass makes a low post move, puts it up, won't go. Thompson digs the rebound out. She'll take it up for two. Give Maddie the offensive rebound and two more points. Alice Lloyd with a steal. Katie Jo Moore for three. Got it. Alice Lloyd clicking on all four cylinders right now. Doing a great, great job. Leading this one 33 to 11. Over on our side of the court, Welch. Now takes it left side, puts it up, won't go. Out of bounds, it'll stay with Welch. 7-18 to play, and Alice Lloyd up 22 points. Lady Eagles, of course, won the first game of the season. Uh, they beat Johnson College down in eastern Tennessee. Welch with a basketball. Ooh. Hoglin throws it away. Cash ahead in a hurry and got it. Boy, that was too quick for the camera guy. I don't know even if he was able to get that one. She was gone. And Alice Lloyd puts two more on the books, 35 to 11. Welch has it at the top of the key. They'll go left side with it. Back down the defender, turns, blocked. But a foul going to go against Maddie Thompson. Coach Mills don't like that call. Hello, Jared Hall tuning in. Anthony Morgan tuning in. Trina Sammons, Vonda Napier, Riley Joe Compton, Kennedy, Alexander Tyson Smith, Bill Bagley, Jacob Everidge, Chloe Watts. As I said earlier, my buddy there, James Salmon, let me know the audio wasn't working at that time. James, how's it sound now, brother? You guys let me know. Uh, we are trying some different things to get it to work until we can get a new laptop up and running or get the one we've got updated with an app. All this stuff works by apps now. I sound like I'm about 80 year old talking like that, but. Everything hinges on something else. Seems like when it comes to this technology and broadcasting these games anymore. Missed free throw there by Serenity Smith. She's got two points, looking for number three. Couple dribbles, second free throw is good. Nothing but the bottom. As she hits that one, she gives Welch College their third point. Alice Lloyd, folks, we were tied up at 11 all. Alice Lloyd has outscored them 24 to one, make it. 26 to one as Thompson gets that one. This offense is just clicking right now. Welch with a basketball. Bowman has it. She'll set the offense up at the top of the key. She takes it to our side of the court. That's where Woods has it. Back to Bowman. Left side, she goes to Watts. Long three-pointer, won't go. Rebound no for Welch. Puts it up and it's good. Basket is, by, is good by Jacoria Woods. That's her first points. And she'll have a chance for a three-point play. One of the fans behind me didn't like how that one was called. She said, don't breathe on it. 
I love it when they get vocal with the crowd. Why was they not calling at me? I don't. Let the refs have it. My buddy to the right of me, me and him has become good friends over the years. He shows up in a Tennessee shirt of all the things to wear on this Saturday. I may have to talk him out of it. Oh, brother, I don't want to hear nothing about that Rocky talk. Cash with the basketball. She has it on the right side and going to get a foul down low on Welch. Well, he's taking forever to make that call, but he does. I'm giving him a hard time. He's a good guy. 6 3 to play, 37-15. to 15. Alice Lloyd in the driver's seat. Abby Maggard throwing it in. Boy, it's good to see Miss Maggard on the court coming off of her first game as a Lady Eagle, and it was her biggest. She had 26 points. Cash runs the offense over on the left side. Four seconds on the shot clock. Cash will have to get something off quickly here for us. Four. Cash brings it to the top. Left side. I don't know if we realize, didn't realize how much time was on the clock. 5.42 to play. Got to fix that. But again, thanks to each and every one of you that are watching here on this one. Beautiful Saturday afternoon. Hometown Sports Corner been bringing you the Knott County Girls Grade School Tournament. Those games will be played on our Facebook page as well. Imagine those be up here in about 30 minutes. You'll start to see those games show. Welch for three, won't go. Thompson skies for the rebound ahead to Maggard. Maggard on my side of the court to Thompson. Over to Cash. Cash has it, sets it up for Maggard. Maggard dribbles to the left corner, back to Cash. Hannah has it. She dribbles to the right elbow. Shot fired up, and it's good. Boy, beautiful shot by Mackenzie Maynard. She's got eight. Give Hannah Cash the assist. Coach Mills. I believe it's just straight man-to-man -man right now. Maggard 101 against Bowman. Bowman directs traffic. Welch College with a basketball. This is a good team that came in here expecting a different outcome. But right now, Alice Lloyd is down, or beg your pardon, leading 24 points. Lady Eagles have had their way in this second quarter. Bowman with a nice shot at the end of the shot clock. She makes that one. 20 to play in the second quarter, 39-17. Cass has it. She'll kick it back out to her teammate over there, Maynard. Cash from 10, won't go. Out to Maggard for three, won't go. Boy, we had two good looks, just a little short on those two. The other one was a little too hard. Welch has it. Three for them, they can't buy an outside bucket. Really have struggled right now offensively. Cass made the second team All-American team last year. I think she'll make the first team this year. Right side she goes to Maggard for three, just off the mark, rebound inside Thompson and it's good. Thompson got that one to go. Jordan, if it means anything to you, I'm hearing music in the background. I think it's that app might be finished downloading that he's working on. Welch with a basketball. They call play number eight. 15 seconds on the shot clock. 310 to play. Shot put up, won't go. Rebound, Cash. Good defense right there by Maynard. Cash has it. She leads the break. Pull up jumper from the free throw line. Off the mark, gets her own rebound. She'll throw it inside to Maggard. Maggard turns, puts it up, and it's good. Let me back up, that's Maddie Thompson. <laughs> Alice Lord with one more free throw. They'll have a chance for a three-point play the old-fashioned way here. Couple dribbles, Welch puts it up, and it's just a little bit off. Thompson put it up just a little bit off, and Welch got the rebound. 
Guys, we're trying here again to get this audio problems fixed and multitasking and calling the ball game ain't always easy. Up and under for Woods. Jakari with five. Oh, nice pass. Inside shot put up. Won't go a little too open, but Thompson says, I've got you. She gets the rebound. Maynard says, what I got to do to get a foul? Woods puts it up. Won't go. Thompson with the rebound ahead to Maynard. Back to Woods. And boy, that's about as pretty as you could ask for. Maynard made a superb pass right there to Cash, who cut through there. And gets two more for Alice Lloyd. They lead right now, 45 to 19. Want to remind you guys that are watching us at halftime, we'll break away. We don't normally do that, but that, as you know, will give us an opportunity to reset this audio and see if we can't bring you an even better audio and see if I can't bring Johnny and Jordan on the, the set with me. I feel like I'm doing all the talking. That's because I am. I usually do that anyway, but we'll, we'll have them join me here in a minute. And we'll see how that one pans out. But for right now, kudos to Jordan. He's been able to get us on the airways for this one. I think I'm about got this one set up too, Jordan. Looks like maybe a minute 50 to play. Maggard with a basketball. I better back up and correct myself. What we got inside. Young lady come off the corner of a hard screen. And Katie Jo Moore, I believe she might have lost contact. Coach Mills. Calls one of his players over, Jamie Cowan. Cash coming in. She's going to check in for Katie Jo Moore. Don't know if that was a player control foul or actually, I think they're just going to say an official timeout. Alice Lloyd will throw it in here. Shrek has it. She threw it over to the Cash. Cash takes it down the lane, wide open. Boy, how do you leave her that open? Two more for Hannah Cash. 47 to 19, all Alice Lloyd. Welch has it. Widening across the way to her teammate, Smith. Bowman for three, won't go. Maggard with a rebound. Abby. Passes it over to Cash. Cash puts it in second gear and then she's gone. Oh, beautiful, beautiful pass right there from Cash to McKenzie Maynard, who has 10. Maynard has 10 and Cash has 16. Both ladies in double digits here already in this contest. Stolen there by Cowan. Oh, no look pass. Cash to Maynard. Wow, that's Sports Center. Da da da. Cue up the music, man. That was a beautiful pass. She thread the needle, and Maggard ran through and got that one double dribble against Welch, and Alice Lloyd gonna get another chance to score here. 39.9 seconds and a half. Fresh shot clock. Might go two for one here, as Cash has it. Put them in a one-four set. They'll bring Callan to the top. She'll set the screen. Cash with it over on the left side. Goes down the lane, kicks it out. And a three second call against the Lady Eagles. That's twice that's happened in this game. So Coach Mills will fix that. Welch has it, 20 seconds. One final attempt perhaps here in this first half to score. We will play a couple commercials at the end of this one, and then we'll break away. You'll have to come back and find us for the second half of this girls game on Facebook. And so, shot put up, won't go. Maggard with a rebound, but her teammate turned it back to her, and there was nobody to throw it to. Let's break away for this commercial, 51-19. Alice Lloyd leading at the half. Come back and find us for the second half in about 10 minutes. Dr. Fran Hughes is a graduate of Alice Lloyd College 
impactful osteopathic medicine. Dr. Hughes has spent the last 12 years serving the people of Eastern Kentucky and was most recently promoted to the Associate Professor in her department with the University of Kentucky. She's now seeing patients at Quantum Healthcare in Hazard, Kentucky, the clinic where she began her profession. While walk-ins are welcome, you can also call the clinic to schedule an appointment with Dr. Fran Did you know that one of the top rural health clinics in the state is right in your back door? Primary Care Centers of Eastern Kentucky has been given the title of the largest rural health system in Kentucky. In addition, Primary Care is the third largest rural health system in the nation and the fourth largest employer in Perry County. Call today to schedule an appointment at our Hazard, Heinemann, Vico, or Hyden locations. Walk-ins are always welcome.